I uh, just started up my Vertcoin one-click miner. Uh, I noticed that it says it's got an update available. So apparently I've been using an older version for, for quite a while. Uh, didn't even realize that a new uh, update had come out. So I figured I'd go ahead and make a video uh, and go through the process of updating, which is essentially just downloading uh, from the website, the Vertcoin website. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is hit these, uh, let's see, send coins. I, I've, here you can see it says a spendable balance. This is what I've already mined. Um, I'm in a mining pool called zergpool.com. It's got a half of a percent uh, mining fee. And uh, you can see here where it says expected earnings in a 24-hour period is 1.34 vert coin. Uh, I can tell you I don't get that much. Uh, this is a uh, uh, an older computer. Let's go down here to system and then to about. And uh, you can see the... Uh, device manager link here and if it ever loads up we'll go to display adapter and you can see that this is an NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1050 Ti so this computer is coming up on five years old I think uh, I've had it a while now and it's it's really performed well so anyway, uh, I just wanted to give you an idea as to why it's not doesn't seem like it's mining that much. Uh, it's because my hash rate uh, just isn't generating like some of the newer cards. It doesn't matter. Uh, we'll just go ahead and go through this process. So what I need to do is go to send coins and it's asking me for my receiving address. Uh, what I use is bittrex.com. It's an exchange, <clears throat> and this is where I have my holdings. And they've really added up over the, over the years. Uh, here's my vert coin right here. I'm sitting at 368. Uh, today it's worth $105. It's up 12%. It's actually up uh, almost 20%, I think, earlier in the day. Not sure why, not sure what's going on, but it's just a nice little bonus. Anyway, so I'm going to get the receiving address. I simply click on this. <clears throat> it gives the symbol and some information, and I'm going to hit for actions. I'm going to hit deposit. And this is my unique wallet address. Hit this little symbol over here, and it copies to clipboard. Okay, I'm done with that. And... Uh, I'm going to show you the deposits. Here is some Vertcoin that is a pending deposit. Uh, Vertcoin has 600 confirmations. Right now this is on 233. Uh, it takes several hours normally for it to go through. Uh, it's very slow. Uh, they're going to have to do something about that if they ever, ever want Vertcoin to truly become a, a uh, uh, realistically usable coin. Uh, some of the other coins like Dash and, and, and Ada and some of these other ones, they only have a, a two or four or six confirmation, so they're very quick. Uh, so they're going to have to do something about that. But in the meantime, I'm going to mine it as much as I can. Uh, this is from another computer. So let me get out of that, go back over here. I'm going to click on the receiver address and I'm going to do control V and that will insert the address in there, uh, paste it in there. And then my OCM, which stands for one click minor wallet password. And I set that earlier up when I originally downloaded. Uh, let me type all that in. And I'm going to hit send. And it says your coins are sent. View transaction or go back to wallet. In this case, I want to go back to the wallet. And now you'll see that the spendable balance is zero vert coin. I'm going to go ahead and stop mining. 
and let's hit the update available link right here and it says new version available 2.1 beta 4 and let's see they've added some, another mining pool updated the pool fee for uh, hash a lot uh, updated some front end dependencies fixed a dead link Add support for the Bulgarian language. Updated earnings calculation to account for having. Uh, anyway, so, so some other fixes that they've done, which is a good thing to see. That means that there are there's some type of programming compu uh, community out there that still cares about Vertcoin and wants to see it uh, continue to push forward and be viable and competitive. So that is an excellent sign anytime uh, they update the miner like this. So let's go ahead and hit download. <sighs> so it's taking us to the official uh, one-click miner. Now this says beta 4, 2.1 beta 4, which jibes with the little message that it showed before. So now we just got to figure out which one of these is the, is the correct one uh, to download. So they also have Vertcoin OCM 2.1 Beta 4. Now they have Linux and they have Windows. And they have Windows Debug Zip and Regular Zip. And this one right here is only 142 bytes. Uh, this zip is 4.92, so I'm pretty sure that's going to be it. Uh, but then again, it has this one down here, Vertcoin OCM Execute. So which one is it? Do we want the beta or do we want this one? Let's click on the beta and see what happens. It's already downloaded it, and this is open file up here in the corner. Okay, and it says, do you want to extract it all? And I'm going to say yes. Select the destination. That looks pretty good. Let's extract it to that. And it says complete. And then let's click on this. I'm going to go ahead and X out of this one. And then... Before I run this, there's one thing you need to remember before you actually execute any uh, mining uh, programs or files, and that is to go to your settings, go to Update and Security, go to Windows Update. This is Windows 10, by the way. Uh, I'm going to go down here to Windows Security, Virus and Threat Protection. Now, I had uh, uh, McAfee uh, antivirus on this, and I let the subscription uh, drop off because I turned this computer into kind of a general email kind of computer. I've got a ton of stuff on it. There's a few games. I'll play games and stuff on it. Uh, I stream and everything, but I don't really... Uh, do things that would generally uh, put viruses and things on. So I don't really have to worry so much about that on this machine. Uh, and because I went to mining with it, you have to turn off the virus stuff for the most part anyway. So you come down here to virus and threat protection settings. So the only thing I have uh, to deal with as far as that is uh, the built-in Microsoft uh, stuff. And so you see up here at the top, it says real-time protection. I'm going to turn that off. And it says, are you sure? And then, yes, I am sure that I want to do that. And it warns me, it says real-time protection is off. 
leaving your device vulnerable. And that's true. That is definitely true. Now, here's the little dirty secret about this, is that depending on the different activities, if you're going to mine on a computer, and I suggest you only mine on a computer. You don't do your banking and stocks and all that other kind of stuff on the same computer that you mine with. If you do, you are risking it all, both mining profits and, you know, your banking information and everything else. So this is a real risk. Uh, so like I say, I would dedicate a computer to mining and only mine on it for the most part. Uh, Real-time protection. So what happens is, is I've turned it off temporarily. It's not off permanently. These other settings down here, what the cloud de delivered protection, automatic sample submission, tamper protection. If you turn these off manually, they stay off. But the real-time protection does not. It will turn on whenever Microsoft Windows decides it wants to turn it on. And so you have to remember to go back and and turn it off anytime you're going to do updates or, or things like that. Uh, whenever you have to do a software update, uh, Microsoft does one, you're going to have to, to continually uh, go back and turn that off. Otherwise, the next time you go to run something, it may suddenly disappear, and that's because it's been put in quarantine or just poof is gone. So anyway... Uh, we've got that on there. So what I'm going to do is close out of this. I'm going to reduce this down. I'm going to drag this down and separate a little bit so you can see. Okay, that was the zip file. I'm going to close it out. And then I'm going to take this and drag it over onto my screen just anywhere it doesn't matter uh, okay I don't need this folder anymore now there's there's a little thing about this I've got a mining program um, folder here and so what I'm going to do is go ahead and just drag it this one over in here now for those with sharp eyes you can see I've got uh, another vert coin uh, one click miner one and this is the the one that I just downloaded uh, this is the newest one uh, I added that one in there so it would not overwrite my old one uh, just in case I needed it for whatever reason you never know with an update especially betas uh, they may have stuff that's wrong or it just won't work on your computer you know, Linux guys are familiar with that kind of stuff. Uh, it happens in Windows all the time. Uh, sometimes you have to delete something and go back to the older version because it just doesn't work with your video card or some kind of uh, your chipset or whatever. So that's why that's there. Uh, but anyway, so what we're going to do now is, if it'll let me, is create a shortcut by right-clicking on it. I now have a shortcut. I'm going to drag the shortcut over to the screen onto my desktop. I'm going to close that file. And if you want to make sure it's still there, it's still there. And now I've got this uh, Vertcoin shortcut over here. I don't really care where it's at. I'm going to go ahead and click on it, double click on it. Let's load the sucker up. Uh, don't be shocked. The Vertcoin miner can take up to a couple minutes sometimes to appear. See, it wasn't just an instant thing that appeared on my screen. Uh, so don't be surprised, especially if you have an older card, uh, older computer with an older card, uh, not as powerful as even this 1050. Uh, it can be slow even on some of the newer 3060s, 3080s, 3090s. So let's see what we've got here. Uh, spendable balance is zero. That's correct. It says I'm in the active pool of Zerg pool. So it, it has kept uh, the information that I had put in before uh, about the pool that I wanted. 
And I see now it's given me a whole list of alternate uh, mining pools that I never had before. Before I had three or four at most. Uh, and now I have quite a variety here. Uh, mining pool Sweden. There's a good one for Europe. Uh, 0.6 uh, fee. Um, some of these have 1% fees, half a percent fees. Uh, Supernova I have used before. Uh, hash a lot. I don't remember using it. I'm going to stay in Zerg pool with the half percent. Uh, you will find if you do mine Vertcoin that the mining rates can be different between these pools. Uh, the amount you get paid, it can be different. So you may have to explore a little bit. Uh, I'm not going to save and restart because nothing's actually changed. Um, expected earnings, 24 hours, 0.67. Now that is a lot more of a realistic expectation of how much I would mine uh, on this computer with this older graphics card. Uh, if you remember the the it's the first part of the video it said like 1.47 or something ridiculous like that. And I'm not going to I'm not going to get that that many coins. Um, but this this is this is very realistic. So uh, remember this is not 50 cents this is 0.67 of a vert coin. Now, so how much is a vert coin worth? Uh, I, I told you it had gone up. Um, let's go back up here. And that little bit that I had sent earlier, uh, here in, here's my balances, go to deposits here. Uh, and you can see the confirmations. This is only four out of 600 since I just did it. Uh, the quantity was 0.45, so less than half of a vert coin. So basically a day's worth. Um, so how much is a vert coin worth? Well, you know, it doesn't actually say here. It doesn't ha have it actually translated into dollars. I can go to my balances. I can come down here to vert coin and look and see that I have 368. And the cash value is, uh, the U.S. dollar value is 110. So you're looking at a 3 to 1 ratio there. So what's that? 33 cents or so, give or take. Uh, but let's let's find out for sure. So there, although there's many sites that you can get this from, I'm just going to go to CoinGecko real quick. Uh Let's type in V-E-R-T, and you can see it comes up right there. It is currently number 852 on the list, and it's pulling in at 29 cents, and that is up 12.8% so far today. Um, some good information over here on the right-hand side. Here's the original website. Why don't, why don't we go ahead and just go to that? And you can see the original website. And notice this says vertcoin.org, O-R-G. It is not vertcoin.com. Uh, let's see what we got. It says a vert hash hard fork is complete. Uh, what that's referring to is the algorithms that were used had some flaws in them. Uh, this is years ago. It had flaws and they... Switch it over to vert hash, which is similar to uh, ETH hash, and it is a much more secure uh, uh, mining algorithm. And as far as I know, they haven't had any problems since they've done that. And that's it's been on the vert hash for I want to guess two, three, four years maybe. So it's been secure quite a while. Uh, Got a download wallet button over here. It says mine vert coin at home. Uh, download the one click miner. Here's a video explaining about it. Uh, I'm not going to go into to that. You can check that out on your own. Uh, vert coin, no pre mine, no ICO, no airdrop. 
uh, mining setup, Bitcoin comparison, community, and specs. Let's click on specs. What's it say here? Yeah, vert hashes, vert coins, mining algorithm, which is similar to Ethereum's uh, ETH hash, uh, meaning GPUs mine competitively. And uh, it's just very advanced stuff. Uh, they modeled uh, vert coin after Bitcoin. And uh, it says it has the same block time, 2.5 minutes as Litecoin. And the same supply of coins, which is 84 million, 84 million total. Hey, let's go back to CoinGecko and see if it will say how much has been mined so far. Circulating supply is 64 million out of 84 million. That's only 20 million more to go. That's not that much. So at some point, it's going to get really hard to mine the remaining vert coin uh here's yeah, vert coin markets uh it's hard to read these uh, so i'll just read them out for you uh bitvavo bitrex is the one i've used for a couple three years now uh south exchange fine box and CoinX. for a long time bitrex was about it uh now you now it's nice to know that you have some more choices here. Uh, just looking at the price uh, at 0 0.30, Bitrex is the highest price right now, uh, but not necessarily volume traded. This bit bit is that bit way or bit bit vavo. I'm gonna right click and see. Bit vavo, okay. I've never heard of it. It must be fairly new. Anyway, uh, it has quite a bit of volume on it. Let's see. Two million three hundred thirty-seven thousand within the last, uh, well, it says recently. Usually it's the last 24 to 48 hours. Uh, other than that, Fine Box and Bitrex had the highest. So, anyway, it is a coin that is traded daily. Uh, there is some activity. As far as websites using it, uh, you'd have to go on probably Reddit or places like that and uh, and get a little bit more information. Um, here's the community page. Uh, Twitter, Discord... Reddit, Reddit, Telegram, GitHub, Wikipedia, Medium, Vertcoin Statistics. Oh, let's check on Vertcoin Statistics. Yeah, there's some good stuff on here. So this kind of mirrors what we were just looking at as far as the price. Uh, way over here, here's this big spike that happened in April. <clears throat> Excuse me. And here's the beginning of May, and here's today's spike. Over here, off to the right. Uh, according to their page information, 0.285 USD, so 28 and a half cents. So that mirrors what we were seeing on the other ones. And uh, average transaction fees. A lot of good information here. You may not necessarily use this information, but um, some of you uh, guys that that know this stuff a little more. Uh, we'll possibly want to know some of that information. Anyway, so let me just get out of this and this and this. Uh, let me go back to deposits. And go that down. So anyway, so as you can see, it's up and running. So what I'll do is uh, end it right there. I'm going to put some links down if, if you guys are interested in uh, downloading VertCoin. I'll, I'll, I'll put the link in so you can click on it and go straight to the vertcoin.org page. And then also I'll do some uh, uh, referral kind of links down there uh, that you may or may not use. If you do use it, uh, it'll help me. Uh, if you don't use it, no problem. 
All right, I hope I uh, hope I help somebody with this video. Thank you for watching.